Hello everyone, Ado here. And Ray is doing stuff on my phone. I'll get back to you in a second, hold on. And we're back. Stupid. And Akiba tail. Stupid Flappy Bird. <laughs> right. So uh, we just got done spending a good couple of hours with our adorable little sister. And uh, I don't remember what it is that we're exactly supposed to be doing right Brother. now. I was trying to use the door, but she won't let me leave. Well, let's just do partnering up, whatever. Take good care of me. <laughs> Go somewhere with less sunlight. I don't know what we're doing either, but I'll, I'm aiming oh, to wait, figure right, out. Oh, wait, right, right, We have the to-do list. We sure do. Yeah. And you now have a headgear item. I do. Since when did that happen? Since all those hours you spent taking baths with your little sister? I don't remember such... Oh. Okay. So, you want to equip it, or...? I don't want to. Trendsetter. Okay. Well, I unlocked that thing. Yeah. Uh, okay, well, you know, just de-equip it if, like, uh, you don't want it. I want a real hat that doesn't clip my hair through it. <laughs> that would be a great start. Anyways, uh, yes, there is that, but uh, there's also the side missions. But you said the to-do list. Come on. These are uh, the ones that we come back to many times. Okay, so we got no new side missions, so it's just straight up continue on uh, with the story from here. So you chose to go and patrol alone, as opposed to either partnering up with either Shizuku or yeah. Toko? Yes, that's her name. I was going to say, yeah, that is what uh, I chose. But I wanted to say Tokikaze, but wait, isn't that just Shizuku's yeah. last name? But I didn't want to partner with anybody, so I didn't. <laughs> didn't but no, I'm hanging out with Bro! Bro! Alright, so uh, you kind of need to not be partnered up with your sister, otherwise wow. the story won't be able to continue. How do I send her home? Can I just talk to her and do it? You have to go back to Mogra, talk to somebody, and basically say, let's go alone. So you could just talk to her in her room, or you could talk to Kati, because I think I saw her just standing around. She's always standing around. <laughs> That's her job, I think. That and serving the customers. Brother. Uh, Let me be alone! Cool. Oh, the precision. Defend the perimeter. Brodar! Right, you just need to go there. I'm actually kind of surprised that you, like, uh, chose... I don't want to hang out with either of these people. <laughs> well, if there is no Kati option, then there is no option. <laughs> hey, what are you doing here? Oh, oh. oh, I think we're supposed to meet up with her, but I forgot the plot. No, this encounter only happens if you choose to go by yourself. Oh, okay. <laughs> we meet again. Quite a strange coincidence, wouldn't you say? That would be if it wasn't for the fact that I know you planned this, but I do accuse a lot, so I'm very sorry. You're a CEO, shouldn't you be working? That's actually a very good point, you lazy boss. Are you stalking me? Beautiful people always <laughs> <laughs> I guess that is true, but sadly I'm not beautiful. Are you stalking me? Ooh, nothing quite so dramatic, I'm afraid. Our meeting is 120% coincidence, I assure you. I see, but 20% of that is stalking, I'm sure. <laughs> so, have you been making use of the app I gave you? A little bit. Excellent. I'm glad to hear it's been helpful. I didn't say that. Thanks to all this stimulating research material, I've been feeling rather good about myself these days. For the first time in a long while. Where did the Synthesters come from? And to what end are they stealing life energy from humans? Hmm. Why are they weak to sunlight? And what gives them their superhuman strength? To rip off clothes with fervor and something. And through what process does one become a Synthester in the first place? If only we could get somebody that isn't bound, gag, and blindfolded whenever they go to be through the process. I oh, have so many questions. It makes me feel like a little girl again. Hmm. Look over there. The group gathered around that bargain sale is wearing awfully thick clothes for this time of year, aren't they? Everybody keeps saying that, but then I look over there like wearing t-shirts, tank tops, and shorts. It's like, stop lying. <laughs> this looks like a job for my Synthister app. And bingo! The hell are you looking at? Uh... Mr. President, <laughs> what do we do, Miss Kasugai? You just leave these guys to me. 
Mr. President, uh, Mr. President. Uh. No, that won't be necessary. I doubt I could beat you at arm wrestling, but I can still hold my own. Okay. You, your Synthester Hunters. Worthless scum, how can you stand against our glorious vision? Uh, uh. We've been promised S-rank rare goods for defeating you, so now you die in the name of limited edition strippers and figure variants. Well, thankfully for her, she can't die from just being stripped, but I can. So I must now murder my friends. Wait, these are enemies. That takes it even easier. <laughs> okay, what do you guys want? Yeah, yeah, I get to swing this around finally. This big old gun. It isn't a real gun. <laughs> Whoa, that's quite the large group. Is it going to be a problem? No, I, just, I wasn't expecting that you'd go up against such a large group. Boy, this gun's great. It just hits everything around me. Which is not what guns do. They don't, unless it's like a shotgun that shoots in all directions, I guess. Look at her doing pirouettes with her stuff. <laughs> Oops, trying to do the back uh, attack. Yeah, she can hold her own. Oops. Better get fixed up. Oops, I <laughs> screwed up the camera. Oh boy, that's bad. Mm. Man, that's a... Hit on the loud side. It is, I guess. I can't get around these people. Okay, there we go. And then I died instantly. <laughs> it's a little slow, but it hits everything around me pretty good. Yeah, so like that Ragnarok sword you had earlier. I guess so. I didn't remember that hitting around me a lot, but whatever. I bet it did and I just didn't notice. Oops, that's not going to hit her in the head at all. She ain't got no gear. Ouch. If I could just... Nope, oh, no, 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 no. Ow. Did I take off his shoes? That reminds me of one of my favorite intros from Mortal Kombat. Which was... It's between Cassie Cage, the daughter of Johnny Cage, Huh. Name stripper. Strip amateur. Yeah, but it was uh, between a fight of her and this other guy, some kind of Aztec god dude who's been around for a long time. Ah, uh, yes, that guy. I wish I could remember his name right now, but I know what you're talking about. Total Khan? Was that That's it? actually it. Thank you. Okay. Like, uh, they had this intro to where she walks up to him, goes, uh, so you've seen a lot of combat, right? Or something like that. Yep. And he uh, goes, I I've survived many battles. And then she uh, replies, So then, you must be familiar with the bitch slap. <laughs> I almost died there, probably. They got me down to zero on both equipment. Nobody got me, thankfully. I might not be doing good. I was wondering uh, why some of them were around, even Ow. though they're basically running their underwear, because they have hats. Oh, no! Dang, this is way too much. Can't get that. Not unless I'd match it again! Gotcha! Yeah. Now he's going down, finally. Cheating with his headphones. Uh, wanna level up your weapon a bit? Maybe. Alright, who's left? Or like your clothing? Something like that would be a really good idea. Because like uh, you've gone like you know this many episodes in, and I don't think you've really leveled up any of your gear at all so far. Mm. I thought she was wearing pants, and I realized it seems to be opaque stockings. Huh. I keep forgetting that's not something I can block. It's a super attack. Yeah. And I keep forgetting exactly where you're fighting, so it always kind of weirds me out a little bit when all of a sudden you just walk into the road. <laughs> Because like, I'm used to like yeah. the uh, you know the side streets to where you just can't wander out into the road. Come here. And then you from across the street. Ha <laughs> ha. I was about to say she not dying, but she is dying. It seems I was right, those weren't you know, opaque stockings, because I thought they were like yoga pants at first. Hmm. Are you alright? Yeah. <laughs> I do hope you weren't injured. <laughs> That's, uh, I knew I was going to love keeping that animation. It's like, uh, are we done here? 
I don't care. Me? Well, I'll have to send my clothes to the cleaners, but other than that, I'm fine. Okay, I guess that's all right. However, you heard what that brute said, no? I guess, maybe. It would seem there's a reward on your head. And the heads of your friends, I'd assume. They never said that. Well, uh, the guy just went and said, you're sinister hunters, aren't you? And my immediately thought was, that's a thing? <laughs> uh, there, there's a group known as sinister hunters? Like This won't be the last of them. More and more will come after you now. Nothing motivates a miscreant like greed. I believe that warrants a report back to the other freedom fighters, no? No. I mean, yes. Well, until we meet again, little boy. Things are certainly heating up, aren't they? Got to get back to Mogra. We need to regroup and, be, and come up with a new plan of attack. Hmm. This Only is... after this round of Flappy Bird. <laughs> <laughs> Right, uh, I do find this rather interesting because I think you may just be going down a story route that I didn't go down Whoopee. yet. Whoopee, that'll be fun. Hmm? They'll have no idea what's happening. Nobody will right. know what's happening, yay! Okay, so you've tried out like a decent number of weapons, gloves, uh, rifles, have you tried out the water guns yet? What, uh, I thought that was like basically the fisticuffs, but probably a different punching style. Yeah, like, uh, you know, Wonderful. it's signature moves, or at least, like, uh, that's what I'm going to call it whenever you do, like, their strong Wonderful. attacks or something like that. Mm. Is, oh, hey, uh, fly your person. And you already have it. I feel like I've talked to the same people like 80 times, but there's, like, a hundred flyers ah! in this game, apparently. Yes, you may think so. Which is weird, because I haven't sure. seen a hundred different ladies yet that do those. Well, there's at least one in every region. No subject from unknown. Mm. If you play with fire, you're going to get burned. Cease your investigation into synthesters. This is not advice. Really? Scroll down. It sounds like it. It's a warning. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's a warning. So, uh, hang on. You actually got some... Uh, side quests? Yeah, some new side quests open up. Lay ugh. Silent mode. Occupy crime prevention committee member... Uh, you've already been through that. I have? Yeah, see, check mark. Oops, I thought okay. I was the oopsies. Mm. Proxy uh, Anamu. Freeman. Mm. Your client calls himself Freeman. He's that free spirit, read Bomb, who sleeps along the side streets. Somehow or another, he's familiar with stripperism and wants to see images of it from various sides all over Akiba. But he's too lazy to move. So, well, uh, you know the drill. I guess I gotta go find him. Also, I'm pretty sure when it's it's spelled out like that, it's supposed to be read as instead of read bum. It's like, you know, it's read as bum instead of reading it as free spirit. Now I just need to figure out where he is because I need to look at the map to find him. And there he is, where it said he would be. Now I need to actually find the... find him. Gagir! Oh no, not Gagir! All right. Yes! yes. <laughs> hmm, G-Gear. That kind of right. reminds me Wonderful. of like a Wonderful. new graphics card I've somewhat heard about recently. Mm -hmm. About how it's really incredible about just how great it is. <laughs> like uh, it's like uh -huh. double the power of like uh, what the previous most powerful graphics card there used to be. <laughs> but it's half the price of what it is. That sounds like <laughs> not a deal actually. It sounds like them tricking. Wonderful. Them tricking? Just like it'll break halfway oh, into you using it or something. Then you have to go buy a new one anyway. But Maybe. they still have their money. I mean, the people that I saw talking about it, they were like hyping up its specs and like all that kind of stuff. You know, being the whole comparison and thing. Oh, there you are. Oh, I didn't think someone would come. You know how Akihabara has all these anime and game ads? Well, I want to see the strippers in ones, but moving <laughs> is such a pain. That's why we want you to go take pictures of stripperism ads for me. Um. So how about it? You want to do it? I guess I have to? Sure, why not? Thanks. Thanks, man. I'll let you know where they are, so be sure to get some great shots. First strip is a man can be found at the south map of the main street southwest. The next day can be found at the Tora no Aurora main street northeast at the Akihabara store side A. Grab these two shots and show them to me if you would. Okay, I do remember those weird names that I can't remember now. Please tell me they're on the map or something, because I... No, no, no. <laughs> Move, I need to talk to him huh? again. You got them already? I really appreciate it. Did what? I just fail the mission? Because I don't have what? these pictures. <laughs> now then, let me see. Looks like you haven't taken all of them yet. 
The first ad can be found soft map Main Street Southwest. I'll do that one first. <laughs> right. They should also be listed on your to do app. Really? They would be? Well, yeah. Uh, they got, it they? gets that detailed? I don't see why not. Well, I'll be soft map on Main Street Southwest. <laughs> or that's a southeast. <laughs> Let's see. I believe you've already been there before. Like, uh, that was where it had, like, a you know, soft map one, soft map two, and soft map three. I thought that was the area I'm in right now where I was trying uh, to find the. Oh, was that Sakuma? Sakuma Computer Stores, if I remember. Jeez! <laughs> Oof! No, you. I need to talk to you. I already had this flyer. Why are you giving me this Wonderful. junk? Ah, hang on a moment. Alrighty. Do I stop yeah. the recordings? Uh, no, just, uh... Oh, yeah, because you have the timer, so you can tell how much. Okay, and, uh, can you hand me, uh, my glasses? Uh, dude, as soon as I can get them. Okay, thank you. Okay, great, uh, let's go back. Right, back, continue now. Oh, uh, shit. Uh, over! Okay, ready? Mm. Uh, <laughs> soft map, where were you? Well, soft map isn't really, like, all that important. All you need is to keep all on right. going until you find, uh... Stripperisms, uh, uh, advertisement or something like that. Uh, and just, uh, you know, take a picture of it. It'll be on like TV screens or something? No, oh, that like, right there. Okay. Yeah. Move, I need to take a picture. Is this one? Okay, that's one down. And, uh, that's awesome. Just That's just the one I needed. Now I need to do that. No, no, not that one. <laughs> I meant to do start and not that one. Well, anywho, this is helpful with the thing. Okay, Tora Noowo Akiba Arbor Shop, Main Street Northeast. Mm -hmm. I'm glad I picked the right place the first time by accident. <laughs> I thought it said Southeast, and I was reading it wrong. Mm. So it's another thing that's like that, huh? Yep. Yeah. Well, for the most part, you'll see it on a building or something like that. They do vary, like, uh, from here to there. All right. Ray the Stripper. Oh, that's right. I got that new title, didn't I? Yep. Saw my butt with something. I didn't see what the rest of that said. Mark it, please. Okay. What flowers do I ha not have yet? Jeez. Okay, so northeast, these are both the wrong way. Right. Let's go this. This! Yeah. Generally, the way it works is that whenever you make a certain progression in plot, like a checkpoint okay. of sorts, that's when they'll start handing out more flyers. Taito Station. Hey, look, it's the crab from that Rhythm Hat game Ada was talking about in a different LP. T hey, yeah, yeah, it is. It's that a Space Invader crab. It is. Oh, uh, shoot, hang on. Like, actually, take a look in there for a moment. Uh, <laughs> is Groove Coaster, like, actually in there? I bet not. It looks like a bunch of plushie machines. Uh, like I, look, there's hats in this one. Except when you look at it from the when you look at it from the front, Wonderful. then it's a bunch of penguins. Yeah. Sorry, there's no Groove Coaster in here for you. Uh, it's just a bunch of plushies. Oh, wow. Well. What was I looking for again? I stopped hey, caring. What was that? What? Uh, to your right. Hey, look, it's her from that guy's t-shirt. Uh, oh, is it? Yeah, it's just not colored pink. Any of you, what to my right? Is that, uh, huh. Oops. Ah, I won't let you. Well, uh, I see some, uh, stripperism, like, uh, character posters yeah, down there. Yeah, I can there. see them right here. Like, I don't think I've ever seen those anywhere else in the game. Really uh, reminds me of uh, pure white bizarre jelly. Yeah. But anyways, uh, yeah, just uh, keep going down to where I'm, you. I'm sorry, I'm just admiring the wall because it's so nicely detailed. I can actually look at it and know what I'm looking at. <laughs> okay, yep. is that one of the strip prisms? Nope, it's this thing here, right next to it. <laughs> yep. I bet. Well, if you get a little mesh, it's like, uh, it's, uh, hmm. uh, try again. Guess not. I'll uh, try this one instead, just because. Nope. Alrighty. Onward. Whoop. Oh, I need to look up more. I'll pull out the huh? camera so I can look up more. Whoa! Huh. Was way. that Taito, Luca? What? Uh, go uh, back uh, that way and turn around, look up. Like, on that sign, to the left. Left? Like, yeah, see it? Ah! ah. No, I'm... T okay. Go right. Okay. <laughs> like, go straight, like you're going to animate. Oh, hey, there's an animate. <laughs> uh, that's uh, well, one of more known bookstores, and yeah, the, that DVD book game sign. All right. Or is that like? Uh, I can't tell what sign looks like. It says DVD or book on it or game. It, like to the left. Oh, yeah. I didn't. I thought you were oh, looking at the store in front of me. Like, take that sign out of the equation. <laughs> Get uh, out of my way. Uh, I want to see like who exactly they have representing. I can't even tell. What I'm looking at in the sign. It's a bunch of orange. It looks like there's a pair of Welcome. eyes in there somewhere. 
Hello. Mm, nothing special. Animate Han Can. Okay. Oh, bye. Thank you very much. All right. Bye, Stephanie Shea. <laughs> I recognize that voice. I think it may just be a similar sound alike. You. Who's your... this little doofy looking guy? Oh, look at him. It's like a penguin, I guess. Uh, the savior. Wonderful. I'm guessing only because of that cross <laughs> on his belly. That was a cross. You oh. see the cross on his belly? I thought it was like a weird Japanese symbol or something. Ah uh, yes, Ragnarok Odyssey Ace, a game that I found quite terrible. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm just never gonna let that go. <laughs> just go to my way to point out. It's like, yeah, I didn't have fun with it. Well, I didn't find any ad down here. I wasn't looking good enough though, so there's that problem. Great! Okay, I know what to do. Uh, bring up your to-do list. Eh. Eh. Okay. Okay. And uh, it is the Tora no Noana Noana Akihabara sh A Shop. Okay, then uh, just like uh, run down the uh, streets <laughs> until like uh, you see that just pop up. Well, All right. Run with top harara. Animates. This could be Toranara. I can go into this place. How come I can't enter it? There we go. It is. Wait. Oh, hi there. Toranara Hakihabara. This seems to be the shop, though. And it is store A. Then why do I want the picture work that I was looking at? Maybe it's too close. Like, you need to get, like, a further, more zoomed out shot. That's dumb. Everybody wants close ups that they can see everything, unless I took it at the wrong angle, which is very possible. Yeah, I took it at the wrong angle. <laughs> because from this angle, you can't see all of Miss Blue Hair over there. Ah. Or should I say black hair? Eh, whatever. Uh, sapphire uh, prism? Sure. Let's go with that one. Like, aren't they basically called uh, Amber, Sapphire, and... I wasn't paying attention to the names. All I really right. can't remember them. Mm. I know we played it for like a whole episode, but I can't remember. Okay, I think he was down here in front of K-Books. Huh? Oh, you got them already. <laughs> I really appreciate it. And now let me see. First one has a zoomed-in shot of all three girls. A great shot. Second one is a full body shot, but Pink Grism's hair is so big that you can barely see the bodies of the other two. That's a shame. Fantastic! This is really great. Alright, so I've seen every picture now. They're all wonderful. So wonderful that's making me think it's time for this free spirit tries to go out and see the world. Now then, here's your promise reward. Uh huh. I wish I could whistle. Well, I finally could start doing it, and I don't do it the way you're supposed to. Pretty sure you're supposed to be blowing air. If anything, if you need anything else, I'll ask again. I guess that's it. Am I done? Yeah, he just sneaks skulks away like the goblin he is. <laughs> what did it say? I got rookie something for a. You uh, got a new title, rookie yeah. freedom fighter. All right, let's go see it. I guess. Or, and you got a later. trophy. Or later, I guess. Was it also a rookie freedom fighter? Yeah. Of course. Okay, so uh, you have another side quest to do, and what's that going to be? Sorry, I just I noticed these posters just floating above the wall. You see that, right? Like, you can see nothing, right? <laughs> but if I go out, the posters are not on the wall, and they have a shadow. Uh. I was noticing that I was talking to them, and I was like, are those just floating and have an actual real-time shadow? <laughs> and they have a real-time shadow. Wow. That's pretty not good at all, no. What are you talking about? That just shows the mystical greatness that is Akihabara. I'll believe it when I actually give two darns. Regular That's visitor to the plaza. Overzealous fanboy. Everything in moderation, guys. Is lately, this that one quest again, basically, where the person was going crazy about Yaoi? Lately, there have been an exorbitant number of otaku fanboys and fangirls who cheer on just about anyone. At first, it was fun and all, but then one guy had to take it a little too far, as it always goes. He's just so incredibly annoying. Would you be able to quiet him down? Thanks. <sighs> yeah, I remember this fight. Time to punch somebody. Yeah, oh, essentially. Man. Yeah, just go like Electric Town <laughs> Plaza. Thanks. Which is, oh. No, uh, uh, Radio Kaikan. Yeah, it's Radio Kaikan. Okay, I yeah. didn't know if you wanted to go Electric Town first, because then something would happen. I was a bit mixed up on places. I knew it was near the train station, and uh, this guy really pissed me off to fight. Mainly because of the way that his combos work with the weapon he fights with. But it really juggles. I wonder who the person is I'm looking for. <laughs> you! Walking right there! Let's celebrate your future! Ah! Celebration! Ah! Ow! Oh, not even in combat mode yet. 
Okay, that's it. That's it. Okay, I was gonna do that, but I forgot. Wow, I can't even get in the combat zone yet. I can't even start the fight with him because he's got such a good defense. Just keep talking to him. Eventually, uh... I was trying to fix the clothes. Oh, they are fixed. Never mind. You walking right there. Let's celebrate your future. I got a celebration. Walking right there. have been able to start like a conversation and just basically tell him to like tone the passion it down. is it challenge accepted <laughs> I got range buddy ah oh, I don't have range <laughs> yeah but he has speed and combos <laughs> for juggling <laughs> oh. <laughs> Also, I think he has what some would call invincibility frame. Or <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, uh, super armor. Like, what do you call it when a person does a move in fighting, but even if you hit him, you super don't... Armor. Super yeah, armor. Su yeah, he has super armor for, like, a bunch of his juggling moves. One of, my, me annoying. one of my favorite things for Nemesis in Marvel vs. Capcom 3 is super armor, super... Because actually, because there's one that has super armor on it. Well, we both super armor through that. <laughs> I could use some help. I should have gotten my sister. That would have been great. <laughs> ah! Ah! Okay, gotcha this time. I'm going to try to aim for the head, because it's super hard to hit for some reason a lot of the time. I can't... Okay. I wish I could dodge mechanic. That'd be great. Well, if you hold block. Yeah, but I mean, like, whenever he does these super moves that cannot be dodged, apparently. Like when I'm standing there holding the block and he hits me anyway. I told you it was an annoying battle, didn't I? Yes. <laughs> Let me yeah. fix everything I own. I, don't, I think the one thing that annoys me the most about it is the fact where like you you can get that person's weapons and you can have that exact same fighting move set with you. It's just you can't be that strong. From like my personal experience, I can't make it work. I mean, like, you know, I'm doing, like, the swings and the flashes and the combos, and... Jeez. It does too much damage. Ah, I cracked him on the skull and it did nothing. Come on, hit me. Do something. Dang it, I was ready to do the thing, and then I died like this. See how I'm on the ground bleeding? <laughs> it looks really great. <laughs> Just a crack over the back of the head and nothing. It's like, what are you made of, Superman? Man, it just does so much. Look at every cheer me on from the subway from a safe distance. Hey, I got something. Yeah, that's one down. Let's go for another one just because I'm too far away. Oh, no. Not the police. Hold on. Nope, can't not weak enough to me even struggle for it. Nope, no, no, no. Okay, I'm out of here. Bye, bye. How am I supposed to deal with this when the police are involving? I'm not sure. I'm actually kind of wondering that if you get to that state to oh, where, that like, um, you beat the guy and everything, like, stops moving and stands still and you automatically put your weapon away, will the cop just automatically arrest you? <laughs> Maybe. Oh, wrong person. Sorry. Take this! It's no use! Dang, I was gonna go for it. No, I'm sorry, lady. You weren't supposed to be involved. Why are you even here? Because she was already approaching to fight you. Did you not notice her? I didn't. I was too busy noticing the cop. B bothering me. Thankfully, I can't have the cop yet, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> yes, we got him now! Ah, no you don't. No, you don't get a break. No, wrong person. Sorry. My bad. Too, too far. Got you now! Yeah, I got you! Game over! Well, he's beaten, right? Right? Yeah. Now I can run away. He ran away saying, I'll make sure to behave. Hold on, I gotta get out of here. No, I gotta rest about Okay, I thought it would stop me from moving entirely. I'm almost there, I just gotta get out of here. <laughs> to Junk Street, yeah. This isn't Junk Street. But I'm out of there, <laughs> yes! I was like, I need to escape, <laughs> but how? Wait, I know! But Siri, how do I escape? <laughs> just run along like... There is know. no escape. <laughs> You're useless to me, woman! <laughs> well, I think okay. I've done all the side quests. Are we still good on time, or are we done? 
like onion rings. Thank you. Hmm. We don't exactly have all that much time left. Just like, uh, oh, wait a second. Uh, yeah, yeah, we don't exactly have that much time left. Uh, we could pick a fight with somebody for fun. Yeah. Uh, hey, look, Becky. <laughs> <laughs> I'm never gonna drop that. I probably won't. Oops. Well, I guess we could always just like walk our way back to Mogra, since that is gonna be our destination that we're gonna be going to eventually. Oh God, you're right. It's the next story mission. Going back to Bruce. Yes. Bruce. Uh, Bruce. Well, actually, I just thought about something. Since we don't have that much time, let's go through our wonderful encyclopedia. See the new stuff All that right. we got. Okay, but I thought we get upgrade. No. But I'm guessing story will pop up and interrupt us, right? Yeah. Before I'm upgrade. <laughs> Encyclopedia time. Okay, what three weapons do we have now? I want, I mm. want to get this. Ah, oh, yes. Double, triple, Silum. Is that how you pronounce it? I think it's Silium. Yeah, Silium. Two glow sticks, each one three pronged, making for six individual points which which to claw at foes. Now is the time to show the world what you're made of. Rave like mad. I was about to say, how is it two glow sticks since I see three, but they're all connected at the base is what it's saying. Yep. And if that's all it takes, then this is actually an entire guitar because the neck is connected to the... No. <laughs> Acoustic guitar. A normal guitar used for twangy, folksy entertainment. No power required. Ah, uh, yes. But then you can make an acoustic guitar that can also be an electric, which looks really weird. Paper fan. <gasps> a tool that can be used to repel bad jokes. Quite literally a slapstick. Uh, if someone's uh, making a fool of himself, be sure to give him a good whack with this. I'm going to try this next time, if it's unless it sucks really, really, really bad. <laughs> Baton or keyboard? Baton. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I felt like it. I know I was wrong. <laughs> Baton. A light baton used to guide trucks in construction zones. I'm pretty sure that there's also that one I already have, but I guess that's a police baton, huh? Mm. Alright, that was three, yeah. right? Right. Well, and that was four, I think, but... No, uh... I'm pretty sure I counted. I got this we never read, because I just got it. <laughs> Paradise towel. A towel to keep on your head during the bath. Heavenly. Now, when do I get to change my hairstyle to something that doesn't clip through everything? That's what I want to know. When you change your character model. Ugh! But uh, it's only clipping Ooh. through, like, the towel so far. Wait, okay. Gray parka. Yeah. Gray parka. A gray three-quartered sleeved parka. Well, I guess that's not interesting. Oh, there's the paradise towel. Maiden's towel. Yeah. Maiden's towel. An ordinary bath towel. It's not about how it's made, though, but where it's been. Oh, uh, okay. That's weird. You think I would have seen the other towel for the guy? I think it's referring to the fact that it's been on a naked woman's body, so you should worship it or something. Well, that doesn't do anything at all. I could have swore there was a male version of the. Oh, wait, it's a pants thing. That's right. Right. I completely forgot because that makes sense. Who dareth call? Okay. Uh, towel of manliness. An ordinary hand towel with an extraordinary backstory. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I've seen hand towels. They're never that big. <laughs> but in the case of this, that's okay. That's good. Oh, that's it. Mm, oh, wait. Do I even have accessories that's not the cape? Nope. Shoes. Oh, uh, I do have shoes. Hey, new Whoa. shoes, yeah. Pink beach sandals. <laughs> pink beach sandals. A pair of pink beach sandals. Easy to walk around in, even on sand. The first choice of beach bums everywhere. This is sounding like the other beach sandals, except for now there's black loafers. <laughs> black loafers. A pair of black loafers. Pretty standard fare for more school, most school uniforms. That's true. It's either that or they're brown. Hmm. I wonder why that is. I don't know. They're I mean, I know shoes. Japan like has this whole thing to where there's school shoes and then there's outdoor shoes. So... I got those two titles. Three, actually, apparently. When did I get the third one? Stripper! <laughs> Stripper. You may have torn your fair share of garments... But you learned the fine art of stripping udders as time went on, and now is the moment to let your strip flag fly. Oh yes, the strip flag. That sounds really... that's a weird sounding word. Trendsetter. No matter the clothing, you can make it look good. You're the talk of Akiba when you walk through the streets. This title is for those who don't follow trends, but set them. Ah uh, yes, that's why it's a trendsetter. <laughs> set setter, whatever. Rookie freedom fighter! Yeah. Rookie Freedom Fighter. You bleed, you sweat, and you cry. All for the residents of Akihabara. What are a few mistakes to a hard worker like you? I don't know. Now, where's the other title? No. Mm -mm. Uh, no, wait, that was, was it. Was it uh, Maid Mania? Yes. <laughs> I must have it back. 
Hey, Boy, I need to get strengthened up and it'll let me some more Tekanikus. I haven't yeah. gotten new flyers in forever, jeez. Yep, and uh, just some uh, new background information on those characters. Maybe another time. Maybe another time. In the meantime, I'm trying to beat this level in Flappy Birds. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's Ray. Oh, I'm gonna brag about all my friends. It's the Maid Maniac! I'm on with your marker fleets. <laughs> I don't think you want that. <laughs> Wow, even the cops are swimming over you, that's awesome. My, my. Today's another peaceful day. <laughs> well, anyways, uh, that's all the time we have for now, so we'll see you later, everyone. Bye.